Rolls-Royce Silver Dawn The Rolls-Royce Silver Dawn is a full-size luxury car that was produced by Rolls-Royce at their crew works between 1949 and 1955. It was the first Rolls-Royce car to be offered with a factory-built body which it shared, along with its chassis, with the Bentley Mark by until 1952 and then the Bentley R-Type until production finished in 1955. The car was first introduced as an export-only model. The left-hand drive manual transmission models had a column gear change, while right-hand drives had a floor change by the door. Only with the R-Type based model was it officially available on the home market, from October 1953. In 1944 W. A. Robotham saw that there would be limited post-war demand for Rolls-Royce or Bentley chassis with a body from a specialist coach builder, and negotiated with the Press Steel Company a contract for a general-purpose body to carry four people in comfort on their post-war chassis behind a Rolls-Royce or Bentley radiator. Though he stretched the demand to 2,000 per year, Press Steel were nonplussed by the small demand. A mere 760 were produced between 1949 and 1955. Silver Dawn Series AD had bodywork identical to the Mark V. In 1953, with the E-Series, chassis number SKE2, the Silver Dawn body was modified in parallel to the Bentley MK Vi body and a large boot was added. While the Bentley MK Vi was renamed the Bentley R after this change, the Rolls-Royce Silver Dawn kept its name. On the standard steel cars throughout the production history, all the body panels forward of the bulkhead slash firewall were slightly different from those fitted to the Bentley. In 1951 the Silver Dawn was upgraded to the 4.5 liters engine and the full flow oil filter, chassis number LSFC2. In 1953 the high compression cylinder head was fitted from chassis number SMF66 and from the same chassis number on the Bentley MK Vi type camshaft was fitted to left hand drive vehicles. Earlier models up to circa May 1954 had a different fascia, dashboard, from the Bentley MK.Vi and R-Type, and were fitted with a single exhaust system. Later models from the SRH2 chassis series had the Bentley-style fascia and the twin exhaust system, as fitted to the Bentley R-Type. The inline six-cylinder engine had overhead inlet and side exhaust valves and had a capacity of 4,257 cc, 259.8 cubic inches, until 1951 when it was enlarged to 4,566 cc, 278.6 cubic inches. The carburetor up to chassis number SFC100 was a single double downdraft Stromberg type of 26 until 1952 when it was replaced by a Zenith DBVC42. A four-speed manual gearbox was fitted to all cars at first, with a four-speed automatic becoming an option in late 1952 on the E-Series chassis, and on the corresponding Bentley R-Type chassis. There are conflicting reports if the automatic gearbox became standard in the Silver Dawn, but both manual and automatic options were available until the end of the production run. However the original invoice for a 1955 UK model, chassis number SVJ115, clearly shows that the automatic gearbox was an optional extra and cost the buyer pound 70.0.0. The suspension was independent at the front using coil springs while at the rear the live axle used half elliptic leaf springs. The car had a separate chassis made with traditional riveted construction until 1953 after which it was welded. Servo-assisted 12.25-in, 311mm, drum brakes were used, hydraulically operated at the front but retaining mechanical operation at the rear. Although many cars were fitted with factory-built bodies, others were supplied to external coach builders. A factory-bodied Silver Dawn with automatic transmission tested by the Motor Magazine in 1954 had a top speed of 94.0 miles per hour, 151.3 km per hour, and could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 km per hour, in 15.2 seconds. A fuel consumption of 15.4 miles per imperial gallon, 18.3 liters slash 100 km, 12.8 miles per gallon dash US, was recorded. The test car cost 4,704 pounds including taxes. 